Hey, good morning, great day, Coach Mike Husson. Hope everybody's doing good, ladies and gentlemen. Today's 15-minute huddle, we're going to take it, and we're going to take it and break it apart really quick for it. Because here's the question, what, is, what, are, what are the distractions that's really costing you money every single day? I mean, there's always a number of things we can come with and peel back the onion on this business in this life that we're leading. And we can always say, this is costing me money. But really, what is the truth behind it? What is the great equalizer? And guys, the great equalizer is time. You know, guys, every man, woman, and child on this planet has the same number of hours in the day. Do you think anybody's any different than you? People that are wealthier, healthier, healthier, etc. Do you think they have more time than you? The answer is no. It's not even maybe not. <laughs> okay. At the end of the day, the answer is no. And the question is, how do we spend our time and how do we ask ourselves, how are other people more productive than me? At the end of the day, guys, we all know that time is our most valuable asset. And as a result, most of us, most people squander their moments and they wonder why they're not more successful in life. The most important characteristic, guys, of great business people, great entrepreneurs, great parents, great people in life is their well-developed management of time. That's what it comes down to. It's their well-development, well-intentioned, let me say it this way, their well-intentioned development of their time management. And guys, we all know that the foundation of, a good, of effective and really, really good time management is having a detailed schedule. I hope that each one of you has a detailed schedule that outlines all your daily, weekly, and income producing and income servicing activities. Remember, guys, that sales salespeople, business owners, entrepreneurs know that the schedule is just a part of the process, but it's a real critical part of the process when it comes to managing your time. Remember, time management is the ability to follow a schedule and then manage and execute the daily activities. Great time management requires discipline. It, rebind, it, re, it requires us to have great focus. It requires prioritization of the task and the ability to carefully, write this down, to carefully navigate and avoid distractions. Let me repeat that. It requires discipline, focus, prioritization of task and the ability the ability to carefully navigate and avoid distractions, a very, very critical issue. So I want to talk to you about a couple of distractions that we are all faced with in our business every single day. Whether you're in real estate, mortgage, title, you own your own small business, whatever the case is, these are common, common distractions that we deal with. And we're going to give you some solutions today, hopefully that will help you take it to the next level. The very first thing, and we all know it, we all are involved in it all on a daily basis. We see it, we get notified of it, we got plugged into our ears. Every crevice that is open, there is something there that is a distraction for us. And this one thing is that, and it's called technology. You know, we've been told for years that technology will change the way we run our businesses and get it done quicker. While that's true, technology can make us more efficient. The never-ending ringing, beeping, vibrating noises that creates most common distractions and the disruptors in our world, in our productivity. This constant, constant flow of of data coming into us can create a tremendous amount of distraction. Guys, we know that technology provides really at our fingertips with the press of a button, instant gratification. Some people are conditioned to monitor their, their text messages and their emails, their social media. And we are so conditioned because of this ingrained beeping and this ingrained interruption that we get often that we just react to it in an instant. There's the must respond immediately to every alert and notification that we receive. So here's the deal. You got to stop the madness. You've got to stop the badness. Now, here's a question that people often ask me. 
well, Mike, if you want me to stop this particular distraction of technology, what happens when a lead comes in? What should I do with it? Guys, you got to respond to it. Okay, we're not talking about everything that somebody's posting. We're not talking about everything that somebody has a quote for. None of these things. We're talking about here when it comes to a lead generation system that you might have in place. Some of you do, some of you don't. But you must understand that you got to react to those things because why? It is a priority. It's a part of making money in the business. The distraction I'm talking about is your avoidance behaviors to the things that are payoff, high payoff activities, such as handling a lead or making a call to do a follow-up or generating a new opportunity for yourself. So you got to be careful and stop the madness as it relates to what you're losing control of. And you can control your emotions and your compulsive behavior simply by removing this technology from your space. It's very, very important. However, again, let me caveat this because some people will say, well, Mike, you're telling me not to do it. Then you're telling me to do it. <clears throat> and how do I know if somebody's giving me a lead? You'll know it. I promise you, you just have to figure out how to do it. And I'm not going to get into a training on that right now because that's not what we're doing here. What we want to make sure is that we put our phone away for the most inappropriate things and keep it available for us and manage it for the appropriate things. Give your phone to your assistant. Give your phone to your, your receptionist if you have one. Give your phone a rest and put it in the desk. You can keep it open if you need to. If you're generating leads and you have a campaign, write that out. If you have a campaign running and you need to be available to it, but everything else, you got to get away from it. And here's the deal. Once you do this, you're going to avoid, uh, you're going to avoid everything else. Once you do this, you're going to be able to increase your productivity and your focus is going to become more powerful when you are avoiding this particular distraction. Point number two, personal issues. You know, a huge distraction for especially people in sales, especially entrepreneurs, people in sales, okay, is these is, are these personal issues. You know, guys, listen, at the end of the day, everybody and everyone has things going on in their personal life. If you don't, then frankly, you're not living life or something's something's missing or you live in a cocoon. However, the average week that we are living in is filled with all kinds of activities. Got to agree with this, right? Doctor's appointments, child care, personal care appointments. Uh, we we got to take care of our house. We got to fix our car maybe. And the list goes on and on and on. Sometimes these issues are more serious, such as uh, you might be going through a divorce. You might have an illness or a challenge with a family member. And guys, here's the deal. All these personal issues are normal, and it's called life at the end of the day. While some of these situations need immediate attention, I agree. I always tell my clients, unless it's earth-shattering emergency, you got to go attend to it. Other than that, you got to be careful about these personal life issues because they'll stand in your way and they will kill you. Now, one, again, if it's an emergency, you can go after it, but you got to make sure that you can distract yourself from all of these other minor things that are taking you off track. You got to treat non urgent issues as if you worked a normal nine to five job. At the end of the day, most personal appointments, as you all know, can be handled on the weekend, it can be handled at night, and it can be handled during a lunch break or whatever you're taking in your business. But you can't give up the success. Uh, you can't give up your success. Let me say it this way. You can't give up your success for the illusion of freedom and flexibility. It doesn't work like that. Your sacrifice, when you sacrifice your success, is when you allow personal issues to monopolize your workday. Now, you got to be fine line here, okay? People will do these things to avoid the most difficult things, and that's creative avoidance behaviors. Very common but you got to understand that these personal issues can get in your way. The last thing I want to share with you is your space. You've heard me talk about this in different ways. And here's the deal, guys. How is your environment impacting your productivity? Is your environment helping you stay on schedule or have you set up for failure? you got to take a very, very close look at your surroundings. Identify the things that are in your physical space. It might not seem like it's common, but it's a very, very huge distraction. 
And are they supportive? Is your physical space supportive for you to be productive or is it causing you to be non-productive? Is your workspace private or is your office in an open door and are you in inviting interruptions? Even if you're sitting in an open area where a lot of agents, if you're in the real estate world or mortgage world, they, live, they work in an open space. They don't have any privacy. They might be in a cubicle. You just got to do something and put a big sign on that says, stop, don't bother me. I'm busy being productive. Thank you very much. I'll get back with you later. Have a nice day and put a big stop sign. Go buy one at the uh, Department of Motor Vehicles if you need to. I don't care what you got to do there. Make that happen. You got to put up your schedule and you got to take care of what is you, what is your environment causing you to do to become productive and not productive. So you got to look at the standards and the boundaries that you have set with your staff and your coworkers and your, and your environment and the people that are around you. You got to post your schedule for everyone to see and you got to communicate your desire to stay on your schedule and ask for accountability around this okay you have to ask for accountability around this a very very helpful and important thing to do if you have an assistant okay train them to do their job and accept more responsibility give them the call if somebody has a question go to them all right you can make that happen empower your assistant to keep your schedule and to keep you on schedule as the official guard to your gate, if you will. And a great assistant, guys, can help you protect you from interruptions and overly uh, uh, overly social co-workers, as I like to call them. They just want to be, hey, how you doing? What's happening? What are you doing? And you're trying to be productive. They're going to interrupt you. So guys, here's the deal that we want to think about. Be careful with technology. It can interrupt you. Watch out for your personal issues. Remember, they can t they can be done at a later time. Short of emergencies, I get that. Short of major situations, I get that. However, everything else not needs to be wrapped around building your business. All right. And then the last thing, what does your environment look like? What do you need to do today to clean that up, to get it straightened out? And not so much just paperwork, but your your physical space. If you're in your office, what do you got to do to remove things and put things in place that are going to cause you to be productive? Don't make excuses because you're fearful of making calls to go find new business, and thus you're going to allow these all of these distractions, your environment, your personal issues, your technology, to give you excuses for being the most successful person that you can be. Guys, put these ideas into place. Go back to realprofitbuilders.com. Listen to this recording again and again. Take a snapshot right now of your technology, your personal issues, your environment, and ask yourself, am I being as productive as I can? Let's hope so. And if not, work on these things and keep your schedule to the point of working on income producing activities and income servicing activities, things that will make you happy, healthy, and wealthy. Go make it a great day. We will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks so much.